Leslie Zemeckis with Write for Success. My guest this week is a New York Times bestselling author. Her new book out is The Book of Lost Friends, and it's beautiful. The first book I read of hers is When We Were Yours, and the novel takes place in 1939 in Memphis, Tennessee, and it's based on a true characters and a real place called the Tennessee Children's Home Society Orphanage where supposedly a lot of Hollywood luminaries such as Joan Crawford adopted their children from the orphanage. Now the woman who ran the society kidnapped and then sold hundreds of children who already had parents to couples looking to adopt. It's a heartbreaking book. It's so moving. It's a million copy bestseller. Booklist says of her that she is quite simply a master storyteller. What I loved about her writing is the depth of her work and how it made me curious and want to know even more about the orphanage, about this woman, about the times, which I think is the mark of a great writer when they raise your curiosity and the story stays with you. So here she is, Lisa Wingate and her tips for writers. Until next week. Hey, Lisa Wingate here, author of Before We Were Yours and The Book of Lost Friends. Um, coming to you with a quick writing tip. Uh, one of the things people ask me a lot about is voice, how to get a story to feel like it's authentically being told by the point of view character in the story and there's not a level of author narration going on um, that's covering that over. One of my favorite tips for getting the voice of uh, a region or a lifestyle or just to get into um, an area I'm maybe not super familiar with native speakers, there is YouTube. Um, I will spend a lot of time on YouTube listening to local news interviews, um, recordings of school board meetings or city council meetings, uh, uh, oral storytellers from the area, just anything I can get where um, I can hear people talking using the phrases that are used there, um, the accents that are native there, and even just points of reference, things people talk about. Um, and I'll gather all those things up. A lot of times I'll keep a notebook of phrases, words, points of reference people talk about. Um, and I also will make myself a playlist. And often when I'm trying to get into that character's voice, yeah, I'll just go back before I write and, and go through my playlist. So that's useful to me in creating a sense of voice for the characters. I hope it will be useful to you. Uh, happy writing!